A very common complaint in pediatric practices, a kid has belly pain. Now there are two types of belly pain we're worried about in pediatrics, a surgical belly and a non-surgical belly. What would you say would be a tip-off that it's most likely a non-surgical belly from one that maybe you have to go to the emergency room? What would be some of the indicators that you would say? Right. The, there are certain things that one could use to really make you think that your child really has to go to the emergency room quickly. One would be the presence of vomiting that's dark yellow or green. That indicates that the stomach and intestine is not moving, is not working properly, and it's a cause of concern, as a great concern, as to exactly why that is taking place. There are other things that are not quite as reliable as that. However, if one sees those things together, it's valuable to get a, a value, uh, having a doctor to see the child because they could get worse in the middle of the night. So if the pain is quite severe, that's certainly a, something that's worrisome. If it's a child who, not normally, who normally does not have pain, as opposed to a child who's been having pain on and off for a while, that's something that's more concerning. If the child has fever in addition to the pain, then of course again, that's a situation that's more concerning. Those would be the main things that one would look for with regard to having in a well child uh, a concern that is the need for surgery. Is location of the pain a tip-off that might be more of a problem than some other locations? If the pain is associated in the right lower quadrant, that of course would be suggestive, although clearly not diagnostic, that maybe the child is experiencing an appendicitis. In a child who's young, clearly under four, and oftentimes even between five, six, and seven, the pain is not going to be nearly as well localized as it would be in an older child, an adolescent, or an adult. It pains the lower abdomen, and it's a female, sometimes worried even about ovaries sometimes twisting. Is that true? There is other things aside from those that are particularly relevant to the GI tract that can give problems that would require a surgery. Uh, for a female, there are ovarian problems, as you mentioned, and oftentimes it could be just simply extreme pain and in those situations, often, not all the time, but often, the child will be able to localize the pain uh, that's being referred from the part of the body that's uh, having the surgical emergency. A good evaluation by a pediatrician would include an evaluation of it's a male of its testes, sometimes testicula pain can transmit a little bit up. Sometimes it's full, sometimes you don't always pick it up that way. Is that true? Um, my own son had been seen by my own pediatrician uh, with abdominal pain and then uh, woke up early in the morning and started to come to me to say that his belly is worse than ever before. And uh, so we, I examined him and saw where the belly pain was. Um, however, when I went into the scrotum, that really was the main source of his pain and the pain had been, so to speak, referred to the lower abdomen, but truly he was having a testicular torsion and he did need to have an emergency surgery and turned out well.